Hello, Lafayette. My name is Melanie Hill. I'm the Director of Communications and Outreach at the Wild Foundation. We're a small nonprofit based in Boulder. Um, we work internationally to build these strong communities that both respect and protect nature as it benefits all life on Earth, which includes us humans. Uh, we have a variety of programs and collaborations that take place right here in Boulder County, throughout the U.S., and on a much broader international scale. So if you're interested in learning more about the Wild Foundation, you can head on over to www.wild.org to learn more. So getting started, I'm really excited to share some information with you about this fun citizen science initiative that I'm helping to coordinate through our Wild Boulder program, and it's called the City Nature Challenge. So typically the City Nature Challenge is an annual event where cities throughout the world compete to see which region has the most nature and can engage the most people. Considering everything going on with the COVID-19 pandemic, this year we're instead straying away from that competition mindset and collectively embracing the healing power of nature and we're working together with cities throughout the globe to document wild plants and animals. So here's where Lafayette comes in. We want you to help document wild nature in the area because knowing what species are in our city and where they are helps us to better study and protect them. The only way to efficiently do this is by having everybody work together, scientists, land managers, and the community. Through this project, you'll be learning more about your local nature and helping to make our city a better place for you, your community, and your wild neighbors. At Wanaka Lake alone, visitors have been able to identify more than 250 species of birds, which is pretty amazing. So let's add to that count, not just for species of birds, but all types of wild nature. To participate, you'll need a free account with iNaturalist. We recommend downloading the iNaturalist app to your smartphone through the Google Play or App Store. If you like to take photos on a DSLR or a point and shoot camera, you can log into your iNaturalist account through the website and upload that way. For me, I personally tend to do a bit of both, so it just depends on your preference there. When you're ready to upload to iNaturalist, you'll share the photo you took, your best guess at the species identification, the date and location of the sighting, and any relevant notes in the description. So the BioBlitz portion of the City Nature Challenge kicks off on April 24th and it lasts for four days until April 27th. During this time, participants will go out and they'll take photos of wild nature. If it's wild and alive, it counts. Plants, mammals, insects, birds, reptiles, amphibians, they all count for the City Nature Challenge. What we are not looking for are captive and cultivated non-wild organisms. In simpler terms, do not post photos of humans, pets, potted plants, or other captive species. In terms of the boundary, our region encompasses the larger Denver metro area, which includes all of Boulder County and the city of Lafayette. What's great about the City Nature Challenge is that anyone can get involved. All you need is a way to take pictures, a free iNaturalist account, and you're all set. You don't have to be a professional photographer or a biologist or a naturalist. If you don't know what you took a photo of, just take your best guess at a species identification when you upload the observation, and then the iNaturalist community will step in to support you. The City Nature Challenge is a great opportunity for individuals, households, teachers, etc., to get involved. It's really just a remarkable learning tool. I cannot stress that enough. Once the BioBlitz is over, we'll then move into the identification period for the next six days. From April 28th to May 3rd, we need your help identifying species uploaded to our project on iNaturalist. You can visit our webpage listed here to get the scoop on all of that. And so here's a quick recap of all of the dates. On May 4th, we'll wrap things up by releasing the results of the City Nature Challenge, both in our region and internationally. In the following days and weeks, we'll be reaching out to some of our most active participants and sharing some pretty special prizes, so stay tuned for all of that. As a Lafayette resident myself, I'm hoping we can have a strong showing throughout our city. This is a really great time to document wild nature in the region. Spring has sprung, we have numerous species of wildlife returning to the area, and everything is just coming back into full bloom. We're fortunate to have over 20 miles of trails weaving in and out of our city's neighborhoods and urban areas through agricultural lands and open space. We live in a truly wild city, so now we just need you to help us document these species. This data is essential for experts studying things like migration, blooming cycles, the effects of climate change on ecosystems, and more. So due to the stay-at-home orders that have been put in place in an effort to flatten the curve of this pandemic, we're really asking for help from all of our residents and anybody that's participating in the City Nature Challenge. The first one is the biggest one. Just please stay close to home. Maintain a safe social distance from people, at least six feet or more, and you know more than that for wildlife, of course. 
avoid times and places of high use, respect local land and facility closures, wear a cloth mask in public areas, and more. Remember that your backyard is teeming with wild nature. It may not seem like it, but your home is a complex ecosystem and a contributor to the larger landscape. We encourage you all to use this time to really just slow down and get to know the species that you share your home with. Appreciate the diversity of plants, birds, insects, mammals, and other wildlife coming through at all hours. You might be surprised by what you find. So I'll wrap it up here. Thank you all for tuning in. I'll leave you with these additional resources and don't hesitate to reach out to me at melanie at wild.org if you have any questions or if you need help with iNaturalist. I'm happy to help and I'm really looking forward to seeing your observations. So have fun and be safe.